Hey guys, welcome to my review, my thoughts and opinions on this movie everyone won't shut the hell up about and everyone is praising, and that is the new Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Uh, yeah, I saw this days ago, but I've been very busy, so I haven't been able to get my review out to you guys. Uh, also, I was a little... Uh, I was expecting a lot of hatred coming my way after I got my thoughts out about this movie because by no means did I hate this movie or even think it's even close to a bad movie. I'm not in the ma the majority consensus of this is an amazing film and one of the best Marvel films. And when you say that to certain Marvel fandoms and certain Marvel fans in general and stuff... Uh, they take it very personal, and they shouldn't. Uh, some Marvel, not all, but some Marvel fans, if you uh, don't have the same opinion as them, they take it personal, and they're like, well, I liked the movie, so everybody should like it. That's the mindset a lot of people have nowadays and stuff, and I've been seeing a trend online that people who are not a fan of Shang-Chi or just think it's a little bit of a disappointing film... They get riddled with dislikes on their videos, and people just attack them. This is like Masters of, Masters of the Universe all over again, but with the opposite spectrum. Uh, if you like Masters of the Universe, people hated your guts. <laughs> and if you don't like Shang-Chi, people are going to hate your guts. <laughs> like it's, it's, You're in no winning situation unless you love the film. And I didn't love the film. <laughs> I didn't hate the film, but I didn't love it. The movie is directed by Destin Daniel Crenton. Not a big... I don't know who this is. Uh, the movie stars uh, Simu Liu, Aquafina, Michelle Yeoh, uh, Benedict Wong, and Tony Leng. Tony Leng is his name. A uh, guy who plays the new Mandarin. Probably the best thing in this movie. Um, the story of this movie is about Shang-Chi, and he's basically just this ordinary guy ordinary guy and he's with his best friend and they basically they park cars for a living but then you find out he has a secret that he is like this martial arts warrior his dad is like this immortal that this guy has been living for thousands of years and stuff and his mother passed away and his dad wants to bring the mother back to life and but when he does that he'll cause destruction of the entire world so it's up to shang chi his wacky sidekick and his sister and a group of other people to put us put a stop to this evil force that is his father aka uh tony lang um the movie does a lot of things right 100 percent does a lot of things right uh uh, first thing is the villain. Um, Marvel's very hit and miss when, when it comes to its villains. They either have really bad villains, which is most of the movies, or they have, like, really great villains. Like, I loved uh, Eric Killmonger. Uh, Loki was good in the, like, early stages of Marvel. Thanos is a great villain. Um, I really love uh, Vulture from the first Spider-Man movie. He's really good. Um, and I liked uh, Zemo from uh, Civil War. That was a good villain, too. And the Winter Soldier from Captain America and Winter Soldier, by the way. This is a really good villain, though. Like, I really enjoyed this villain story. And, like, the beginning of the movie is his, his, his story, his origin story and stuff. And um, if the entire movie was just about him, I probably would have actually loved this movie. Because I think he's a terrific character. I understand him. I understand his rage. And I understand why he's upset. And I... I don't always understand the bad things he does, but I, I, I get him as a character, and there's a lot of emotions in him, and he's a very layered, three-dimensional character, and I just, I loved everything they did with him, and I, I thought he was a badass, and I just thought he was cool, and just, I loved every line of dialogue he says, and just, every word he said in this movie, I just, I listened, and I always wanted to know what he was going to say and what he was going to do next, I just, I really, really loved this villain. Too bad the movie's not f about him. It's about Shang Chi, the 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 most boring character in the movie. Sorry, I know everyone is like 
praising uh, Samu Liu's performance and like he's one of the most badass characters in the Marvel Universe now. He's a great character. And I just didn't get that from this movie. I just I don't I don't understand it. I don't I don't I don't I don't see what everyone else sees. I thought he was a very bland and very boring character. Interesting things were happening to him. Like his life is interesting, and the people around him are pretty interesting. But he's not interesting. I think that's what people are kind of maybe mistaking and why he's. A great people are saying he's a great character because all these things happen and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that's the events happening around him is interesting, but he himself, his personality isn't very interesting. He's just a very generic hero character. Really, that's it. Not a lot of depth to him, and not even a lot of emotionality coming from him. He's just a very bland and just dull character. I just just didn't care about his character. I just I didn't. And this movie is about Shang-Chi, and I just didn't care about Shang-Chi. I cared about the villain. I wanted to know the villain's story, more of the story. Every scene the villain was in, I just wanted the scene to keep going, because I really liked this villain. But it's about Shang-Chi, and his friend, played by Aquafina, who's another character I just was not getting invested in, and... They have good chemistry, like, they're very, they work off each other really well, and they do have good chemistry as friends, and I'm glad they didn't, like, force this stupid romance between them, but even she, she's just a comic relief. That is what she is, and she's not very funny. I, just, comedy is subjective, and just, I didn't laugh at a single joke she was saying. She is just there to make a lot of jokes. And not one joke made me laugh. Not one joke was funny. She was just... It was just crickets for me. Uh, even the people I saw this movie in a, in a theater with, like, not a lot of people were laughing at her jokes. So I just... I don't know. Maybe people were agreeing with me and stuff. Uh, and she also serves no point to the plot until the very ending. And I don't want to spoil what happens, but something happens at the ending with Aquafina's character, and I'll say it involves a bow and arrow. That's all I'm going to say. And it makes no sense, and it's just such a huge plot hole in the movie. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's, just, it's so stupid. And I'm just like, she didn't even have a lot of training, but she could do this perfect. Like, what? Even at the ending of the movie, a certain character comes, and then he's like, I want Shang-Chi, and bring your friend with you. And I'm like, her, his friend? The human that doesn't do anything? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's so confusing. So I'm like, there's the moments in this movie, I'm like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but uh, let's talk about the action. The action is really, really good. Um... I loved the the martial arts choreography in the first like forty minutes. The bus scene is kick ass. I know why they promoted it so much in a lot of trailers. The bus scene because it is the best action sequence in the whole movie. It's a really good sequence. It gets almost ruined by this comic relief vlogger who's vlogging and stuff, and he just won't shut the fuck up. I'm like, I don't care about this vlogger and his stupid comments. I just want to watch some kick ass martial arts. And when it goes to the kick ass martial arts, it's really kick ass. Also, the score for this movie is really solid. It's one of my favorite uh, Marvel scores. It's a really good score, really kick-ass, and really fits the tone of the film. It's, I loved it. It was really good. Um, I even loved uh, Shang-Chi's sister. I thought she was also a much more interesting character than he was. Uh, because he basically like abandoned her, and just, I felt bad for her. I didn't feel bad for him. I felt bad for her. She looked after her brother, and he just like kind of abandoned her, and just didn't give a shit about her. And she kind of like started this like underground fighting thing, and that's that's pretty sweet. I'm like, again, if that was a, a movie itself, that'd be kind of cool and stuff. Like, the movie's about Shang Chi, but the the sister and the dad are more interesting characters than he is, and. Just, that's a problem for me, because the movie's about him, it's his story, and I don't care about him in his story, I like the people around her, I even like his mother, she's not even very big in the movie, but I liked her character, I'm like, oh, okay, even Michelle Yeoh as his aunt was a more interesting character, like, all these other characters 
are more interesting, but they focus on Shang-Chi and Aquafina, the two characters I don't care about. <laughs> and then they bring, like, in this character near the ending of the movie who's supposed to be, like, the new comic relief. And even he was better than Shang-Chi. Like, I thought he was actually funny, and he actually was a much funnier comic relief than Aquafina was, and I actually had a few chuckles from him and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, getting back to the action, though, the action was really good until the very ending, where it's just, like, overblown CGI fests, just dragons and monsters and just pew, 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 lasers, bloms, and just all that crap. It just, like, I love martial arts in films. Like, that's some of my favorite action scenes, like hand-to-hand combat. Uh, that's, like, that's some of my favorite action. My favorite action scenes are scenes that involve guns and scenes that involve your fists. Those are my favorite things in action movies. Fight and gunfire. And the movie has kick-ass fight sequences, but then the ending just, you know, expands it into, like, big monsters and big beams and mystical shit and just... It gets a little overblown with CGI, and just I, I was losing interest in this action scenes. I'm like, oh, okay, they got to do the Marvelisms. I feel like this is the biggest problem with the movie is that it could be just like this really sweet um, martial arts movie, but the movie is a Marvel film, so they had to put all the Marvelisms. It's got to be funny. It's got to have the CGI. It's got to have a joke every five seconds because that's a Marvel film. It can't actually just be a series movie from start to finish. It has to have the comedy. And it has to have the wackiness. It's for the kids, you know. <laughs> uh, and I don't know. Just, I was just not blown away by this movie. And I, don't, I just... I know a lot of people are just like, they're not going to be happy about my opinions. But that's just, that's, that's all there are. Just my opinions. I'm not saying, like, if you, if you like this movie, uh, you're an idiot. And if this is your favorite Marvel film, you're wrong. I'm not those people. I'm not those. If this movie meant something to you, this movie's your favorite Marvel film, that's okay, man. That's great. I'm glad this movie meant something to you. I'm really glad. The movie's a big thing about culture and stuff. And, like, if this means something to you, that's great. I'm happy for you. Just for me, personally. It just didn't mean a lot for me. It just It was just a... It was kind of just a generic action sci-fi movie. Action fantasy movie, sorry. With great villain, some really good action scenes in the first half, some pretty interesting side characters, pretty good visual effects and stuff, but it's overly long. It doesn't have very interesting lead characters. It gets complicated. There's a lot of plot holes in the third act. And just stuff happens. I'm just like, there's no way that would happen. It just, I don't know, it's, if it was about the villain, it would have been a lot better of a film, but it's about Shang-Chi, and he's not interesting to me, so, the movie itself doesn't fully work for me, but there's a lot of great stuff in it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, like, a 6.7 out of 10. It's perfectly okay, it's perfectly serviceable, it's a little bit better than Black Widow, but still, nothing great, nothing all that impressive. Take that with you, Will, uh... I really don't need to recommend it because everyone's going to go see it anyway, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Comment below, let me know. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? It's okay to disagree with me. It's okay, people. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the dark side. <laughs>